Patrick with FullMetalRock.com. Pleasure speaking with legendary Bruce Corbett of Rigor Mortis and right now War Beast. Right. How you doing, brother? Good, man. First off, welcome to New Orleans, man. I know it's your first trip. No, but, uh, man, we've been here quite a bit the last two years. We, we love it here, obviously. You know, fucking right. With good reason. Yeah. Crush the Enemy came out uh, last year. Fucking it's getting a lot of press, a lot of good reviews. Uh, how did he end up signing with Housecore for that album? Well, we, you know, knew Philip from back in the old days when he first came to DFW and joined Pantera, so kind of had that association with him. But then back in 2007, Rigor Mortis and Arson, Arson Anthem went out on a tour. And then, so when I was hanging with Philip, I mentioned the new band and who I was jamming with, you know, the guys from Scott Perry. I mean, I better get that Ooh, right. Oh, yeah. Scott Perry, no. Scott Shelby and Rick Perry. <laughs> From Gamma side, and Phil knew them from back in the DFW early days, and he said, "Send me a demo, you know." And luckily for us, he, he must have liked it, I guess. Yeah, yeah, he must. <laughs> yeah, he has, he has, he has only extreme taste. Right. Very, right. very few bands and very few things he puts his hands on. So. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It's definitely for y'all, it's, it's, uh, it was He knows good. his shit about music, and he's very picky about yeah. what he likes. Yeah. And uh, producing the album, how was it working with him? Two vocalists. Hey, that uh, was... You know, I guess we're both from the same, different, two different areas, but yeah. the same way. That was great. I think that was the you know best part of it all for me is to get to work with Philip on this, and I asked him to do it, you know, so... Um, any kind of, like, getting your feelings hurt or anything, if, yeah. if he comes up with suggestions, you know, I had to put that out the window. And plus, he has a way of doing it if you do something kind of stupid or to kind make you laugh it. about it, you know, and so, <laughs> you know... He's not a he's not an asshole to work with when you know him like I do. It's a pretty fun experience, man. You have any tour plans for War Beast coming up besides this little mini tour you're doing now? Yeah, actually we just got some good news that we're going out with Destruction and Destroyer 666. Oh, and uh, late April through May. That's that's probably gonna be our best tour. tour one, the most lengthy tour so far, you know. Yeah, that's good. Getting out there again. How, yeah. how is it? I guess from having a little time off, and never really stopped. But yeah. I guess being touring again, majorly. Is, oh, this times is what, have changed. But yeah, this is what we've been waiting for. That's why this is like the third night of this tour, and we were wishing it would last another, you know, 30 more dates already. You know, yeah. we're having such a good time. It's what we want to do. Getting to play in different areas, you know. How's the whole? You think the whole thrash scene? I think it's kind of on a comeback. I know it has, you know. I mean, because, Exodus, Exo I mean, Exodus yeah. and uh, Overkill came out with some, some really good albums, got good reviews, which is for them, was good for all thrash metal. Yeah. Then you have the younger guy, the Municipal Waste, and all them. That's true, man. And, and it's, you know, it's good when the old bands do put out a quality new album, so everybody ain't going to be like, oh, their old shit's better yeah. for every band that tries to make a new album. But, you know, with the new bands, like you mentioned, I know thrash is a lot stronger than it was, you know, say, six years ago or something. Cause I was trying to form a thrash band back then in Dallas Fort Worth and I couldn't even find a drummer, you know. <laughs> and because everybody was into black metal, death metal, mainly at that time in our area. But now, you know, it seems like now there's bands popping up all over the place around DFW. Yep. Uh, for us, like the old school thrash, how do your old, older fans, like Rick and Mortis fans, like Warpies? They seem to like it, you know, it's kind of the same kind of fans as, you know. There's always people that are always going to be partial to the band you came from and that kind of stuff, but if they even like your new band, then that's a compliment to me, you know what I mean? Yeah. And as far as any new fans listening that wants to check out War Beast, where, where can you check them out at? Uh, Warbeast.org is the easiest place to go because then you can find our Facebook and MySpace right there from that website. So pretty much just Warbeast.org. Cool, man. Any last words? Thank yous, hellos, fuck yous. Fuck everybody. No, just really, man. Everybody come out and see War Beast when we get out on the road, especially on this destruction tour. We're going to hit a lot of areas we've never been able to play. Go up into Canada, a lot of California dates, and uh, all the way over to New York. And it's going to be a good thing, so come check us out if you can. Bruce Corbett, and you're listening to FullMetalRock.com.